All right, we Sweet. have neighbors here, neighbor work party. <laughs> 40 meat chickens is too much for this chicken tractor. I found that out last year. 25 is good, but you could probably max it out at 30. So knowing that, I still did it. I have new baby egg layers in the other chicken coop. I'm currently making a new egg laying coop for them. There's too many because when we actually butchered our chickens from last year when we did raise 40 in here. And so I believe that is producing a smaller bird because not everyone is getting their fair share. For meat chickens, I like using a pig net or a hog net because it's more easy to move. Don't tell them, but they could actually fly over if they wanted to. The Cornish crosses, they will not fly over because they're just too big to fly. But these Red Rangers, they could possibly fly over. My mallet. I, I remembered my mallet. Another benefit of doing it this way is that you don't have to move the chicken tractor every single day. There's more space for them to roam around. But a drawback to this is possibly hawks. Hawks get them, but they do have this chicken tractor that if there is a hawk, they can just go in and hopefully the hawk doesn't get them. Another benefit is that you could just hop right over. You know, you don't have to take the fence down to go through it. Just because you open the chicken coop door does not mean they're gonna go through it. You're free, chickens. You're free. There we go, there we go. You guys get it. Whoa, did you hear that? They're already starting to crow. They're getting their teenage crow, their teenage vo teenager voice. I would definitely charge it. Um, don't let them get used to a non-charged fence because they will test it and eventually they will just break it because they'll try to force themselves out of it. I'm also going to give them another extra trough. If you want to see how I made this trough, I'll leave the link down in one of these corners. These chickens are a different breed. You will not waste feed. I mean, you could spill on the ground and these chickens will find it and they will eat it all. I don't want to just put it on the ground because, you know, poop. They'll eventually find it. Come on, guys. It's in there. There's more than one way to raise meat chickens. You don't have to move them every single day in a chicken tractor. You could just put a fence around them like this and not move them every day. Another benefit is they get to spread their poop around a little bit more instead of concentrated in that shelter. You know, it's gonna be all around here now. They're spreading their love around. Today, we're having a family neighbor work day. A few weeks ago, we helped the haulers with their garden. We're putting in a giant garden bed for my neighbor. <laughs> we're having a family neighbor work day here. And then today, they're coming over, we have other neighbors coming over, and to help us do a project here on our homestead. First we need to give the cow some fresh water. And some apple cider vinegar. Just looking over the two beefy boys. They look good. They're getting some of that grass. We're gonna move them later on today. I'm also going to show you a little area that I cleared up yesterday. Since having these two, I've been putting hay on the bare and thin spots of the land. Sometimes they'll eat it, sometimes they won't.
That should be enough. All right, first project of today, guys. We're switching it up right now. We've been doing a lot of outside work, but today we're gonna be inside, down in our basement. We're still moving in. Our basement right now, has, this also has been my workshop, our storage area, our pantry area, our soon-to-be pantry area. We put up electrical on the walls. Uh, we have our freezer here. We have two more freezers that we need to move over here. And until I can get that barn situated or get another workshop, this is gonna be my wood shop for now. Not ideal, but this is actually bigger than the shed that I was working out of. Plus it's cool in here. It's gonna be warm weather today. Uh, but in here, this is like the coolest part of the house because right now we have no AC and we have no heat. The plan is organization. And we're gonna invite our friends over today, our neighbors, to help us out with that. All right, we have neighbors here, neighbor work party. Work day! <laughs> we have Brad and Ben. We gotta take out this duck work because they don't belong to anything. There used to be a furnace down here, and I think that's what they belong to at some point. Uh, so I'm tired of hitting my head on this. Tubular. All right, it's lemonade time. Snatch. Yeah. gummy bears and oranges too. Is this freshly squeezed? Is it freshly made? <laughs> What's for lunch? Tacos, beans, and rice. So we're almost done with the basement. Now it's lunch time. All right, Ben, do you think she's pregnant? I don't know. <laughs> if she's pregnant, she's not very far along. Yeah. Um, if you sit and watch, if she stops oinking long enough, you can see her belly when it starts kicking. Yeah. We've seen that with ours. I mean, it, you'll see it. It's like twitching. Hmm. But she's oinking too much. She's too happy. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. So our neighbors came over, our friends, and we just got work done. And it's one of those things where, you know, Many hands make light work, right? I feel like it was a bit overwhelming for us to like, because when we first moved in, when we unloaded the U-Haul truck, everything, everything that was in the U-Haul truck went in this basement. So we really didn't, even though boxes were labeled, it was just kind of like, let's hurry up and get this done. So nothing really was organized. So then it just became like, well, we started living here and we needed something out of this box and we just, moved this box on top of that box and then it just became even a bigger mess so now now it's organized and I feel like we can walk I can see the floor I can see the walls there was still stuff here from the previous owner that we had to take out and I gotta take it to the dump um, some wood I'm, I'm gonna try to save some scrap wood this is gonna be the pantry area eventually I need to build some shelves we, we do need to do more organizing but at least this is a very good start yeah. So we appreciate you neighbors for coming out and help us out. <laughs> That's always fun. Plus we had good food. All right, that was a good break from the normal here, having friends over and doing a work day, a work party. And that's what we do. We hang out with other homesteaders. We have a work party because we can't sit still. And then in a couple weeks, we'll go to our other neighbor's house and do work over there. That's the beauty of having cool neighbors. So I wonder, because we have them free ranging, if they eat less. They have feed in there still. We got, we got eggs. So what do you think? These are blackberries. These are the brambles that I have a lot of here. I knocked a lot down when I borrowed my friend's lawnmower or skag. But look at this, thorny bushes. I believe these are blackberries. Yesterday I grabbed my edger with the table saw blade And I went to town on some of these brambles. I ended up making a lane for my wire so that way I can 
move the two beefy boys out on this pasture. Sometimes you just can't wait for somebody to come with a bush hog. You kind of just have to just do it yourself. It's kind of like getting wood chips. Some people say they're going to deliver wood chips. Sometimes they don't, sometimes they do. So there's a lane right here that I want to move that hot wire down this way. Can you turn off the, uh, the cow's um, charger? Yes. All right. It's off. Okay. What's another thing about getting more acres is communication. <laughs> I'm having to like call, 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 on, call on a wife. That's it. Wind it up and let these two pass through. All right. Also, this is the first year on this land. We've only been here four months. We're still trying to get a feel for this land and slowly build it. Eventually, I'm gonna get my own tractor, but for now, I'll just make do of what I have. Oh, there's my glove. I found it. I'm not saying I'll never get goats, never say never, but for now, man, I just don't see adding another animal. You know, we still gotta renovate our house, We're trying to renovate that barn. I need somewhere to put all my woodworking tools. So to add another animal, especially animal that I've never even dealt with before, such as sheep, goats, you know, that seems such a big deal. Maybe it isn't, but for now, I think we're just gonna try to figure it out. Thank you guys for subscribing, and if you have not, hit that subscribe button, guys. Like, to like these videos, share these videos, tell your friends. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one.